Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Hunter Toon. Today we're going to work on this white EG hatch. It has a turbo single cam in it. And uh, it's built up from what I told. What I'm, what I'm, built up from what I'm told. Ram horn manifold, VS Racing 5855 from my website or the 5558. I can't remember exactly what it is. <laughs> um, and then it has like this eBay 38 millimeter wastegate. It's got a three inch up pipe. Um, Z6 head with uh, some work done to it. Springs, retainers, cam. Uh, let me see exactly what he said here. What was the cam? Busy Moto 1.2 turbo grind. Uh, it's a, actually a Y8 head, uh, ported head. It's got uh, D15B7 bottom end, ceramic coated 50 over forge pistons, uh, eagle rods, king main and rod bearings. Uh, everything's kind of port matched, supposedly. So hopefully she does pretty good today. Um, it's got the Hunter Tune decap flex injectors over here. So yeah, kind of going through this thing. I got it up and running. Uh, I got it pulled into the shop and this throttle body coupler was really loose. Um, I took the pipe and it just fell right off. So I put that back on and tightened it up. Um, the O2 sensor for the gauge for the wideband was bad. So I put a different one in for tuning it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna see what this thing can do. I'm gonna check the ignition timing and I'm just gonna kind of get it tuned up on wastegate tonight. It's almost midnight already. And I uh, just kind of wanna get this thing up and going uh, so I have a better start on it for tomorrow where we can hopefully lean on it and make some good power. Um, I did have to add, add a quart of oil and I'm gonna have to add some water to it as well because it's bone dry. Um, Probably check the plugs, check the ignition timing, see where we're at. Uh, we might be really far forward or backward on this because it's a single cam with a different head, different cam, all that kind of stuff. A lot of times the timing is kind of screwy and it's tough to get lined up on some of these. So I'm gonna shoot, shoot it with the light, kind of see where we're at, and then I'll go from there. All right guys, I got the ignition timing set. It was actually pretty retarded, so we will uh, see what it does now. Um, I kind of ran through the map a little bit, got it running good. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see if this thing, uh, what, what it makes for moves. Well, I filled it up with coolant, and you guys can see that it came right back out. I don't know where it was coming out of, uh, but it definitely shot out of somewhere. I don't know if it's the uh, cap not sealing or if it blew out of this overflow hose. It doesn't look like this is leaking or anything. Might have to watch the footage, kind of see where that was coming from. Or maybe the radiator's got a leak. And when I actually gave her some beans, it spewed out. Um, yeah, everything was looking good. Air fuel was perfect. Um, timing is where it should be on this thing. And like I said, I just verified the timing. I'm gonna set the camera up by the radiator. Or try to. Oh, well, I didn't think I need to. I already see something leaking. You and the whole fucking right out of the cylinder head. Okay, I found it. Yeah, that's a big leak. Woo! She's cooking. Look at this. Holy shit. This thing's spewing out like crazy. Because there's no dang hose on the. Uh, 
on the head. It blew right off. You can see the hose right there. There's the hose. It blew right off of the cylinder head. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I got to fix that. Okay. Now well, I'm full of coolant. Uh, hose is fixed. I got a clamp on it. It had a clamp on it, but it was wedged against the block, like the head where you tighten was wedged against the transmission so you couldn't tighten it anymore. Um, so I put the clamp on where you could get at it a little better and it's not wedged giving you false tightness kind of thing and I think that's what was going on there. Uh, I put the clamp in a better spot or angled it at a different spot so it should work out a little better. I filled it back up with water. Um, no sense in putting coolant in it because who knows if it's going to spew out again. Um, yeah. We'll give it a go one more time. got a little warm like it went from like 190 to 205 on that pull which typically Hondas don't really heat up that much but um, and the power is just really flat made 211 horsepower 215 foot-pounds of torque um, and the curve looks okay but it's definitely like flat um, like maybe VTEC isn't working I'm gonna try one rip with VTEC off and see if the curve changes at all because it looks like I'll show you instead of just talking So this green line is the one we just did the green and uh, tan color here And you can see it just comes up to where VTEC should be picking up here around five grand But and then it just goes flat So I don't know why that is uh, I'll probably have to diagnose uh, Why VTEC isn't working so I'm gonna try it with no VTEC. I'm gonna turn it off on the tune and see if it loses power. If it the graph loses a ton of power, then we know VTEC is working, but that to me looks like VTEC is not working. All right guys, so it's the next day. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on this little Honda here. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, some of the coolant dried up overnight. There's still some coolant on the fender and stuff here, but um, yeah, hopefully it'll dry up. <clears throat> So I noticed last night that the car wasn't actually activating VTEC. So um, I went in here and I checked some of the wiring out and I'm gonna just kind of redo the VTEC wiring how I would do it because <coughs> the way they have it is they have A4 coming out, going into this bundle of red wires and the red wire is going out into the engine bay. Um, I don't know exactly what wire is what out there, so I may have to uh, check to m verify that the one coming out of A4 on the ECU is actually going to the solenoid. Um, and then once I do that, I'm going to take D6, which is this red wire coming out of this plug, which is the pressure switch, and I'm going to tie it into A4. Um, that will bypass the pressure switch because currently they only have one wire going out there to the pressure switch and the other wire, this black one right here, um, is cut. So I don't think it's seeing a pressure switch source, uh, which in turn is going to um, make VTEC not work. So I'm going to uh, do that quick and then I will pick up with you guys when I wire get this wired up. We'll do another dyno run and see if the power improves.
fuel definitely sorry about the lighting whenever I, the sun is out and the doors open and I put my camera where I normally do the lighting sucks uh, but that pull I'm assuming made more power because the air fuel went way leaner which uh, is just telling me that the car is making more power and sure shit uh, she's on a mission uh, but I had to add some more fuel in and I could not stay in it that run so we already made another 12 horsepower and we did not rev the car at all but you can see this is me just fixing the VTEC wiring uh, this was uh, the last best pass that we made and this was the one that we were on so this one would have carried out um, just even on a single cam VTEC is so important guys and I'm about to show you comparison between no VTEC and VTEC um, especially on a turbo single cam it's it's a big difference so let the car cool off for a second and then I'm going to uh, do another rip again um, and this car is getting super hot super fast and I feel the bottom radiator hose and it's cold so the thermostats a little sticky on this thing from what I know or from what I see um, this is why like even putting the big fan in front does nothing uh, for one it's not allowing the thermostat to even open right now so might have to shut that back off um, but yeah, this thing's not kicking VTEC. It kicked it initially, um, the first run of the day. It worked fine. Um, and now I tried to do it again the second time around and VTEC's not working, which tells me there might be an oil pressure issue because the more you run the car, the thinner the oil's gonna get and you're not gonna have that pressure. Um, I'm gonna double check, I'm gonna do another run right now and I'm gonna watch the oil pressure and see if it's uh, sufficient enough to engage VTEC. If it's not, there's something going on with the oil pump or something. All right, so we're back in the car. Temp is back to 175. By the time I drive this car, it's probably gonna be 205, 210. Um, here's the oil pressure at idle. We're gonna drive it and do a little pull, and I'm gonna monitor the oil pressure uh, to see what's going on. thermostat pops because like I said that lower hose is not warmed up and what I usually tell people is if they have issues with a thermostat like this you can just drill a 3 16 hole in the thermostat and sometimes it helps at least circulate some coolant behind the thermostat so it can pop all right guys so I just made a pull and VTEC actually stayed on um, the car cooled off for like an hour and I pulled the solenoid off and kind of cleaned it all off It was full of RTV uh, So I cleaned a lot of that off and I let the car cool down for like an hour and I hit it um, And it just made 250 horsepower 12 pounds of boost um, Before it was only making 198 on the same settings. I didn't change anything in the tune I just got VTEC to work. So there we go 
it's 249 250 horsepower I'm gonna do another run right now and I'm gonna see if it overlays that pole if it VTEC quits working again I don't know what the heck is going on if they forgot to plug to pull the plug on the block or what but this is a d15 bottom end so there's a a, a restrictor in the block that you got to pull out uh, in order to make the VTEC work uh, so hopefully they pulled that out oil pressure is great um, let's just hope that the solenoid was a little gunked up I don't know there's no metal in it but there was RTV sealing the gasket so I just kind of peeled the RTV off cleaned it up a little bit threw it back in so we're gonna try it again this car is getting super hot super fast like I was saying um, I don't know if it's maybe low on coolant again. I'm trying to slowly pull this cap off. I'll try to add a little bit of water and see if I can get that temp back down. Maybe there's an air pocket or something after all this coolant leaks. VTEC that time. Didn't change anything. Yep, back down to 191 horsepower. Literally didn't change anything. I just ran it again and now it doesn't work. So I think there's a pressure issue or something. I think this car needs a head gasket because it keeps getting super hot. Um, like super fast. Uh, which could be an air pocket, but I checked the coolant and I made sure that it was uh, not you know low or anything like that and uh, yeah it's just I don't know not the greatest so we know the car can make power 250 horsepower on 12 pounds of boost is not bad but we're not going to be making that kind of power unless VTEC can consistently work and I don't know what's causing it um, and I don't really have the time to pull the head off and do all that. I've kind of been only doing tuning lately just because I've been so busy with other stuff. Uh, so this one's going to kind of have to go back to the customer, unfortunately. Um, and he's going to have to diagnose this VTEC issue, see if uh, he can get it resolved. Um, sometimes you can actually boot bootleg these setups and you can actually run a, the oil line or you can run an oil line from the block into the VTEC solenoid pressure source spot and I can get them to work that way. But I'll talk to the customer, see what he wants to do. All right, so I went to uh, the hot rod shop down the street and I got some fittings and I ran a line off of the oil sandwich plate um, down there. That line right there coming off at a 90, going up and around and straight into the VTEC solenoid. I plumbed the line right into there so it's force feeding the VTEC solenoid oil. Um, it's kind of some gangster shit, but it will uh, hopefully work. If this works, there's something wrong in the motor plumbing oil into the head for some reason or another. Um, yeah. When stuff like this comes up, it gets annoying tuning cars and kind of sucks and I like I only respond to like a quarter of the people that message me and this is why because if I responded to all of them I'd have no time because tuning cars isn't just sitting behind the laptop it's fixing this kind of shit all the time so yeah I'm only one person I can only do so much but we're gonna see if we fix this thing 
right now. again. I'm letting it get warm. I'm going to try another run. See if it does 240 again. The more I run the car, the more I can get the thermostat to crack. It's just super sticky. Like it doesn't want to open. Now it's opened and I have heat inside the car again. And the temp is down to 197. But it was 232 degrees like two minutes ago. By leaving it run, getting that thing to crack, brought the coolant temp back down. I got the engine light on because it's overheating, or was overheating. I'm going to see if it does that. Just pray. Let's pray that this thing's going to work. Back to back, baby. Actually made more power that time. 252, 231 torque overlaid. That's what we were looking for. Them two right there. Them are the last two runs that we just did. I think she's good, but man, this thing's running freaking hot. 212 degrees after that pull. I didn't film the back to back pull, but I just did another one. So, uh, yeah, fix the VTEC. All right, so customer wants me to just send this thing. Um, I put a boost controller on it. GFB, go fast bits. Just a bleed valve style controller. We're gonna see what she does. pounds that time and I think we blew a coupler up top um, and we made 280 280 horse 16 pounds uh, we gotta figure out what coupler freaking fell off So I just gapped the plugs down to 14 thousandths. They were at like 22 and it was blowing the fire out. I also blew the line off of the fuel pressure regulator so I zip tied all that stuff. Um, we're gonna see what she does. Hopefully it makes 20 pounds or a little more. came into some real boost. I'm pretty happy with this thing, all the bullshit that I had to deal with on it, and I got it, I got VTAC working, and I got all the other little issues fixed on it. Um, coolant blowing all over, and this thing just overheats every time I freaking start it. Like, it's so bad. And it's just pouring. Roxy, what's wrong, baby? Rox. She said, piece of junk Hondas. Um, I gapped the plugs down because they were breaking up. Um, had to add a ton of oil to it and coolant, obviously. 
and it keeps blowing fucking exhaust into the coolant. So the head gasket smoked. Like I haven't had one this bad in a while. This one's really cooked. And he still wants more power. He's he's mad because we didn't make 400 wheel. Which 400 wheel on this setup would probably take 28 pounds to get there. Especially being a D15. Uh, 28 pounds, you know, probably crack 400. But do I really want to send it? Just to make a dyno number to make this guy happy? I don't know. Uh, I thought I did a pretty good job here, but customer wants more. So I just texted him, I said, I'll unplug the gate if you want me to, I'll do it. I'll just rip the vacuum line right off and I'll just let this thing fucking eat, whatever it does. Whatever.